As you begin to experiment with bell trees, a melody based on a pentatonic scale is a great starting point because all the notes are pleasing to the ear when played together. This translates to very few rules you need to know and a high likelihood of success. A pentatonic scale is a scale based on five notes per octave. For those of you who are scale savvy, leave out the fourth and seventh positions of a standard scale. For those of you who are less experienced with music theory, I'm going to introduce you to a tool that you can use to find the tones for any pentatonic scale. This tool is referred to as the circle of fifths and can be used as a music theory reference for many concepts, but we're going to use it for just one thing at this point, finding the five notes in a pentatonic scale. Resources are available online. Search for a circle of fifth images online and you'll find several options to print and keep in your music folder. You will also find a list of pentatonic melodies in the Bell Tree repository. With the melody chosen, we can proceed to finding the pentatonic scale using the circle of fifths. I'm choosing Amazing Grace in the key of C, which is no flats or sharps, but this will work for any key signature. There are three easy steps to get us to our goal. Step 1. The middle ring of the circle contains the various key signatures, showing the number of sharps and flats. Find the one that matches the melody you have chosen. As I said, I chose Amazing Grace in C, which has no sharps and no flats. Step 2. Staying in the same pie wedge, move to the outside circle and find the letter there. This is the first note in the corresponding pentatonic scale. This will be the lowest bell in the pentatonic octave. In this case, I will be using C5. Move clockwise around the circle four more spaces. These are the four additional notes in the pentatonic scale. The first position was C. The next movement is G, followed by D, followed by A, followed by E. Now that you have the five notes that you need, find those bells and string them into a bell tree, starting with the lowest bell, which is the first one you found in the circle. I started with C5, so I'm going to string C5, D5, E5, G5, and A5. You may continue to add another octave using the same five tones. Here you can see how the pentatonic scale translates to the standard scale, leaving out the fourth and seven positions. Again, C5, D5, E5, G5, and A5 is the pentatonic scale I'm going to be using. You are now ready to make happy bell noise with your pentatonic bell tree. For example, I can do a variety of variations on Amazing Grace. I can random ring any of these notes while another instrument carries the melody. I could ring the melody, which may require more than one octave. I could ring a repeated pattern that's also known as an ostinato. I could use a patterned technique to alternate melody phrases with one or more patterns. Have fun and do what's pleasing to your ear. The possibilities are endless. Using the circle of fifths to find the pentatonic scale is a great first step toward bell tree creativity. For more ideas, look for items on the bell tree repository. Happy ringing, everybody.